Okay, let's test a valve on the AVO Mark III. Take the cover off. There we have it. Switch on. This is the set mains adjuster here. Needles coming up to four. Set the main switch coming up now. Too far. Down. Down. Okay. Dead on. Okay. We're going to run up. Uh, second and old EL84 and the roller switch numbers are 041 230 you can see how they work Use the rollers to set the numbers. Next thing to do, set the negative group volts to 7.3, 5, 7, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Okay. Anode volts and screen volts to 250. Heater, coarse on zero, fine on six. Okay. Anode switch to anode one. As we're expecting, uh, perhaps a reading of about 40 milliamps. We'll leave it on 100 milliamps full scale and the set milliamp settings to 11 I think it's 11.2 correction 11.3 it's 11.3 Okay. Finally set the main setting. We can start the test. First position checks in cold check and first position here heater continuity. Okay. Next check is hot with heater heated. Checks for shorts. No shorts. CH ints is cathode heater insulation. Click over. No leaks. Next click is the test, which tests the emission through the valve. Pop that one on. You can see the valve warming, current through the valve increasing. I'll pause it now until it settles. Okay, see it's settled at about uh, 34, 34 milliamps. That's uh, reasonable for uh, a second hand valve, reasonable to good. Let's do a test now for GM, which is on this meter we've already set, this scale I've already set. We have to back off using two backing off controls. Fine one, coarse one. We'll back off, set the current to zero. There 
There we go, finally done 2.5. Finally do it with the fine. Now we can switch to milliamps per volt. And you can see it's in the good section, the green section of the scale, though it's not exactly on the one. So it's a test is a good valve with now we can read the exact GM by moving the GM scale, watching the meter. Exactly one milliamp per volt there. Read off the scale, just over nine. Final test. I'm going to switch back now to milliamps, 100 milliamp scale, and uh, uh, reset the backing off. Just going to pause. Okay, backing off all reset now. These have always got to be uh, when, we're on, when you're measuring uh, current through the valve, these always got to be anti clockwise, otherwise, you get a false reading rather like that. Okay, and we're back to 34 milliamps again. Final test is for gas. Switch to gas. Okay, no grid current. So that's the last test.